Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're just going to, carry up, going to be going over the shield hero info. Um, I haven't went over the actual patch notes on Global in a while, so I completely forgot the drop hella early, and I was also asleep, so unfortunate. Um, but it's going to be dropping 6 and 9, so like 11 p.m. for me, and not a bad time, I'd love to see it. I will be going 1-6, um... I already made a should you summon video, I might do another one. I mean, if you need another one, but I don't know. I, I usually end up having to do two just because of how it's spread out the global and JP is, but we're going to be getting four characters, Naifumi, Raftalia, Philo, and Kizuna. Yeah. Um, good free to play unit. Uh, they're all pretty good. Uh, I'll just go over that and I'll save it for my should you summon, I guess. Um, I'm also going to be doing a gear guide. So look out for that. Uh, might do three videos tomorrow. I don't know. Javis has another video for me that I kind of want to do. Um, the relic is he heals for 350% of defense when the hero's HP reaches zero. In my opinion, you don't want to miss any of these units' relics. Because if you miss one of them, besides, I guess Raftalia's isn't needed. Um, like maybe you want to exchange it for an old collab unit. But in my opinion, uh, uh, Naifumi. Philo and Kizuna needs their relic, otherwise they are pretty mediocre, in my opinion. Um, you're gonna be getting Kumu, here's some packs, we don't care. There's no pendant packs, which a lot of whales were like crying about, because they're like, bro, you just dropped four characters and we have to max them, especially like the YouTubers, because they want to showcase them, but they can't. Um, a quality life for training cave to get stars above them. Uh, you can move across demons faster by just clicking that little arrow. Um, these are the outfits. I don't believe any of the outfits are free to play except. Uh, well, there's Philo for free. Um, we get one free multi. I know. Okay, so you get the froggy one for free by the spin event. And then the. Uh, there was another one somewhere. Oh, right here. The. Uh, this thing. Uh, this guy's pretty easy. I haven't even, like, done a showcase on it, but it like, just put it on easy and auto it like it's so brain dead like, i don't know why people are like i need to do it on the hardest difficulty like just put it on auto bro it's so easy um i've already gotten all the rewards on jp so uh yeah pretty good rewards from it as well so it's it's nice um we didn't even get a story with this one by the way i i i hope it's because of the lore but we should have been given like compensated for not getting story um but apparently like a lot of people are probably just thinking that they're lazy which very well could be um we're getting labyrinth it's actually so easy um you don't need to have any of the uh new units so like nayafumi uh, raftalia kizuna and um uh philo you can get all of them in the dungeon and it makes it so much easier i cleared the entire thing with just those three characters and they were level 60 level 60 i went second against the boss and if you just i i think i got like the rank three immunity and he just couldn't do anything like the because it's mom's speed and obviously he does more damage per debuff you have on you and with all the pass like i had like 13 passes i think like it was absurd i started taking a picture of all the passes i do um but yeah it, 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 it was so much easier um, so that's pretty good. I think they definitely revamped it. I think they put a bunch more passes in there. Um, and I think they definitely made the final boss significantly easier. So that's very good. He doesn't have a revive or some stupid uh, gimmick like that. Um, I don't know if you need the rest of the units. Like, you know, maybe you want Trader Melee. I don't know if you have to have Trader Melee or not because I didn't go for any of those units um i just saw the three collab units and i know that they were basically like the best thing in this game because there's like a passive where it increases all their basic stats or all stats for like 70 percent or something and i was like let's get that um then you only get 30 gems so i mean it, it's up to you if you don't want to do it it's like whatever um there's the diamond use reward thing oh I'll be going up to 600, so that's nice. I wish tickets counted towards it, so actually I probably won't be uh, going to 600 because tickets don't count for it, which really sucks. Um, we have the exchange event going on, so I need to go do that in JP. I didn't even know it was a thing. Um, we got the, the hero enhanced rate up, salvage equipment rate up, all the village shops are open, 
pretty standard stuff. Um, you can check in with Naofumi and Philo week one and week two. Also, this is only a two week banner. So this is why I'm thinking the next banner is gonna be a banger, absolute banger. So it, I think it's a must skip for free to plays. Uh, we also got Thonar Holy uh, Outfit, you know, so that way you can make Wolves a bit easier because that's like the only content of Thonar is used in. Um, and then this, cool. And that is about it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below. Are you guys going to be summoning? I hope a lot of you aren't, to be honest. Like, yes, they do look very, very fun. But if you want to go for like units that will actually like help your box overall, I don't think these units are it. I think they're going to fall off fairly quickly um especially philo I, I really think that philo is gonna fall off very very hard if we get um like a red demon or anything along those lines because like she is very squishy and if we get a meta where demons have a red unit and they go first she is going to he that unit is going to obliterate her she gets she is very squishy um reptalia i don't think you really need um but now if we could definitely stay in the meta because he's kind of like a defense based unit uh kind of like how bonus stayed in the meta so long because he just had a bunch of uh hp based units come about but then again that entire team stances so that's kind of the only reason bonus stays alive so long because he has two full team two full units on the team that just stances and he technically had three because of terry but he only taunted um and now they have yeah so it, you know I, I think he will probably outlast the best. I don't know about her. Because um, she only really buffs blue units. Which, I mean, definitely could be very good later on down the line. But, you never know. Uh, and then I think she'll probably fall off fairly quickly. She's just a main DPS. Uh, she's not like Rimuru. Where she has, like, an a absolutely, like, broken ability to just remove buffs instantly on people. You know? Um and then obviously her, she's just PVE. She'll probably be a very good PVE unit all the way up until like the end of time, just because of her cracked passive. Um, but yeah, take care. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.